founder of the Win-Win Policy and chair of ASEAN 2022, Cambodian Prime Minister Hun Sen told Myanmar's military leader Min Ong Klang that based on experience and lessons learned in Cambodia, complete peace and national unity can only be achieved with the participation and consent of all parties involved. Prime Minister Hun Sen made these remarks during a meeting with Min Ong Klang on Friday, while he is in Myanmar on an official state visit to help find a solution to the country's ongoing crisis and bring Myanmar back to ASEAN. In a joint statement issued on Friday, 7th January, it was stated that it is in this spirit that Myanmar military leader Min Ong Klang has promised to facilitate a visit of the special envoy to Myanmar and to meet with all parties, including ethnic armed groups, to take into account the full and actual situation in Myanmar. The new ASEAN chair special envoy to Myanmar is Cambodian Foreign Minister Prak Sokon, who will play a key role in mediating the conflict between the two sides. Speaking at the 23rd ASEAN Lecture on Cambodia's 2022 ASEAN Chairmanship, Deputy Prime Minister Prak Sokon said, We took a little bit of a different approach when we assumed the chairmanship, and especially when I was appointed as Special Envoy to Myanmar. My role will be as facilitator and mediator, and the whole political process will be all Myanmar-led. We will not decide on behalf of the people of Myanmar. Myanmar is now a country with two governments, about 20 ethnic armed groups, and going through one of the longest-running civil wars in the world. Assessing the situation in Cambodia before 1998, it does not look much different from what Myanmar is experiencing today. After the fall of the Khmer Rouge regime in 1979, the civil war in Cambodia continued until 1998, only coming to an end through Prime Minister Hun Sen's win-win policy, which brought peace and complete national reconciliation, no more armed groups, and the restoration of a single government in the country. The win-win policy in Cambodia has 11 points to ensure social security, national unity, peace, guaranteed territorial integrity, sovereignty, and sustainable socioeconomic and political development. Darshana Gauchin, EAC News.